Hi right, guys, uh, just thought I'd do another quick one. Well, quick, quickish, whatever. Lockdown. No oh, else. Well, <laughs> right, yeah. <clears throat> Yesterday I did rig storage. Obviously wallets. There's the little sealable bags, drug bags or whatever you want to call them. Little sealable bags, nice and neat. And then they, then you go on to wind the things and ba 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 ba. And yeah. But that led me into thinking, we start about rig components, because to me, you know, everybody likes to go out, they like the rod, like the reel, you know, and yeah, that's brilliant, that. But, you know, the rod and the reel is a small part of our sport, you know, that that's, that's more for aesthetics that a lot of that is you know unless you become good which phew, i'm just average you know what i mean it's it's for me it's, it's looks feels and how i get on with it but you know some people out there are blessed and they can proper belt a thing and they, you know and, and then it comes down to what materials the rods made out of how the how the reels machined and gears and you know and you, you break it down into types of carbon and stuff like that and yeah but for me the the most important thing for for my fishing is is that i've got quality rig components because that and the bait you know your best bait that you can get at that time is is essentially what what brings the fish to you you know what i mean so yeah a little start i've got me um at that the tower of power as i call it it's beauty thing of beauty you know a little hobby shop thing and that 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 little tower believe it or not it's got quite a considerable amount of cash worth of stuff in there uh from top and it goes from top components down to the bottom i've got my hooks uh <clears throat> i like to use you know these trident hangover uh, up and down systems brilliant there for the up and over rigs the old trident relay crit clip brilliant pulley rig clip the old rotor clip brilliant and then my probably one of my favourite bits of last year um, was the uh, the little link clip that they do at Trident. Absolutely brilliant. I love to oh, get it in a proper focus. There we go. I love to use that on my uh, on my reels, you know, for, for the reels. I probably did the same mistake, you know, when you got shown you know, the video on how to use them. And you, and you, you get the rotor clip and you think, oh, and you go, and you go, yeah, and what you got to do is, you know, you clip that there and... I thought myself, I thought, hang about, I could save myself a clip here, I'll just tight line straight on there. <laughs> Thing is with this, boom, that disappears into that, so that is completely secure. Once that, it's your rig, you know, secure, brilliant, love the Trident stuff, and like I say, that little clip, probably one of my favourite things of, uh, 2020 on what well, 2009 in one of my most used bits anyway that and the the baiting needles absolutely fantastic them little carbon baiting needles brilliant and then i go on here uh, i've got all the different kinds of links you know the gemini links the breakaway easy links fast links and then when I do do my flatty rigs, and I do like a staggered wishbone or something like that, very posh rig or a or a uh, oh, what did they call it a bomber rig? I do like the innova, the twin one, one I'll come one each, or even a yeah, brilliant. All right, let's see what else we got here. Another another important thing. Plenty of crimps, some just thrown on the floor. Guess I'll get them with Uva later. And then the important thing as well, it's the old rig spring. 
love them for any clipped rig I use. I stick a rig spring on because it's just so holds it brilliant. You know it's not going anywhere. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, cascade type swivels. Obviously, you need them for the loop rigs. Little tiny things, cascade swivels on the loop rigs. Uh, the Innova one, they do one as well, don't they? But it's a little extended barrel on the on it. The old not protectors. <laughs> do like to use them on some rigs, and even on my real line, you know. That on, on one of them thermal links. What else have we got? Oh, yep. Round sliders from Brother Bolt Fishing or even when you're making a Wessex. Love that. Small links. Swivel. Oh. Yep. Swivels. We got the old uh, pulley bead. The Gemini pulley bead. Proper pulley bead, or oh, yeah, proper tart. Me, I, I try it all out. I try it all out. Swivels, different size swivels. Swivels going from to your main line or for more serious rigs for bigger fish. And we got snud swivels. You know, little small snood swivels. Bigger beefier top end of your rigs. There we go, close out that sun there. And we go down to some, if I can actually pick the sods up. Yeah, and we go down to the real small swivels. <laughs> Little multi rigs. What else have we got here? Here we go, earth rigs. Sequins. Spoons for flatty rigs. All right, and then we'll talk about hooks. All right, hooks. All right, hooks. All sorts of different sizes, different sizes, different brands. Because I use them all on different things. Little small, like pinter size hooks, worm a little hooks, stablo, size two. Now some people go, oh, there's size 2, well I've got some size 2 hooks and they're twice the size of that. Different styles of hooks, got different sizes. Again, little, really strong little can hooks. All sorts of hooks, hooks for different things, what I use them for. There's little, those little smaller sizes like the... Stab, look, stab polo, worm hooks, use them on smaller rigs when I'm using really small baits. And, you know, generally when fishing's tough and I'm just trying to get results and get some stuff. And then we go on uh, bigger hooks for bigger things. One of the biggest, best hooks I used the uh, past couple of years when the smooth arms are in, the old Sakuma top guns. Brilliant hooks. Absolutely fantastic. Use them on the Pinel set up or just on their own. Absolutely mean hook. You know, the smooth arms do not get off them. Then I go on to uh, other extremes. I like uh, I like my eagle claw as well. Little rotator hooks. Get one out for you. As you can see, in the body there. It's got a funny little kink in it. Means that when the fish goes to bite it, it rotates somehow in its mouth, hooks it. Got a real good um, catch rate on them. And again, eagle claw, laser worm hooks. Got, they like the bait holder hooks. They just, so sharp these eagle claw hooks. Cock some. Oh, here we go. Yep. <coughs> so 
sorry about that. Go up onto Mersey. I like my cocks and rolls upside hooks. Generally sort of 04 to 06. Big, good size hooks, good size hooks. Where's me? That's out of them. And then, just for me general, general fishing, I do like mustard, mustard viking, size ones, great crab hook, get one out for you now, for crab baits and that, it's absolutely fantastic crab hook, well, get my fat fingers in there, yeah, should have really, I might go more in depth in another video for, for hooks, because I do really do think a lot about hooks, spend a lot of money on hooks. Uh, mustard Viking, great crab hook. Also does all right with the uh, cocktail baits, just like black lug and mackerel for flounders and stuff like that, because the wire's quite soft. If you do happen to bend it as you, you take it out of a fish's mouth, it's not, not gonna, it'll bend back and you'll be able to use it. And then uh, we go on to this brand here. That bigger size, but I do have lots of size. Koiki. <coughs> Koiki wide mouth. Koiki Aberdeen hooks. They are, just in my opinion, one of the most underrated uh, brand in, in sort of our sport. These hooks are super sharp, super strong. Uh, never, ever let me down of these Koiki hooks and rightly so they've got a good reputation in, in my eyes I, I, I've got nothing bad to say about them also do like my uh, oh if I can get the one out see this is how much gear I've got I've got the old matchman's favourite comes on the B940 use that in a Mainly in a, a size two to one hole. <coughs> this this particular box is a size one. So, good solid hook, sharp as you like. And uh, if you do happen to when you're just messing about for some flatties or scratching, you get a a better fish. They are up to the job as well. I love them in the. Uh, Short shank hooks as well. I use the short shank hooks in bigger sizes in conjunction with the um, Sakuma Top Gun. Fantastic. There we go. Crab hooks. I, I, I could go on forever. But like I say, it is the, for me, <coughs> if you're going to spend your money on stuff, you should work backwards uh, from your bait, in my opinion. You make sure you can get the best bait you can for what you're going for. Then you get your best hook you can for what you're going for. Then you go into lines. Lines is another thing. I've got personal favourites. Everyone's got their own personal favourites. <coughs> Sorry, for whatever reason. But yeah, that's my way of thinking anyway and that, that that's the kiss way isn't it it's, it's don't complicate it you think about your bait you think about your hook because your bait's going to attract your fish your hook's going to snare it then you've got to think about your line and your swivels and then of course that goes back to the rod and reel you know don't rush out buy the all expensive rod and reel and then try and cut yourself short by possibly losing a fish of a lifetime by selling yourself short and paying money or try to save money, be cheap on the old uh, hooks and end tackle. That's where your money should be invested and that's a wise investment if you spend it on your hooks and your end tackle. Of course, the rod and that will once you get good at the sport 
will help you to have that better end tackle. But nothing helps you more than fresh bait and good end tackle. Your terminal gear is is exactly it. And like I say, shop local, support your local tackle dealers because I'm sure at this this time these boys do need our help. It don't matter how big or small your order is, get them orders in, click and collect, mail order, whatever it is. Shop local, click and collect's the best. Do it when you get your hours exercise for your walk. Go see your local tackle dealer. Don't forget, wear a mask. And yeah, keep it kiss. As simple as it can be. Good hooks.